Olympus Mons on Mars is by far the tallest mountain in the solar system. Now it is a volcano, but it also fits the definition of a mountain as well. Olympus Mons is 21 kilometers tall. To get an idea of how actually tall that is, we should look at Mount Everest on planet Earth with 8,800 meters in height. Olympus Mons is almost two and a half times taller and Olympus Mons is not just extremely tall. It also has a gigantic surface area. It is comparable to countries such as France. The diameter of Olympus Mons is around 600 kilometers at its longest. You can see here how big Olympus Mons would look like from space if it were on Earth. As you can see, it would be very much visible from space. So over time, during eruptions, that lava that was spewed just piled on and on onto the surface, creating Olympus Mons. So then, let's go to Mars and see what climbing this big mountain would be like. First step that we would need to take in order to get to climb this volcano would be obviously getting there. Now, despite the fact that Mars is in our solar system, that still doesn't mean that Mars is close. In fact, light, which is the fastest speed in the universe, needs on average 12 minutes to reach Mars. Now, what that also means is that people who operate rovers on Mars need to wait for 12 minutes on average in order for a rover there to respond to their command. So, it's safe to say that Mars is not close to Earth, despite being in our solar system. Spacecrafts that carry rovers to Mars need, on average, about seven months to reach Mars, going at the speed which is many times faster than a shot bullet. So, unless you have some new technology that allows you to reach new speeds, your journey to Mars will take you many months. As you would approach Mars, while looking at the surface area from space, it would be almost impossible to miss Olympus Mons. It would be clearly visible even from thousands of kilometers away. It would appear as a huge mark sticking out from the rest of the surface. If you wanted to climb it, you would have to land near the edge, obviously. But there are not many accessible trails to the top, as the rest of the volcano has a very pronounced edge surrounding the surface, and that edge is way too steep. It would be nearly impossible to climb the mountain from these sides, as these huge cliffs are around 8 kilometers tall, meaning these cliffs are about as tall as Mount Everest. So the best path to take would be this one. It is the shortest path available at approximately 200 kilometers in length, and during the climb you would be able to see different terrains. The whole slope averages around 5 degrees, Precisely this is how steep the path is on average. The slope is almost flat. So how long would it take you to climb the mountain from this point? On Mars, you probably would be able to achieve 8 kilometers per hour. That is if you walked a little bit faster. If each day on Olympus Mars you walked for 13 hours in total, you would need roughly 2 days to reach the peak. Meaning in a single day, you would be able to cover half the distance needed. To cover the first half of the distance in the first day, you definitely would need to have a navigational system, which would precisely tell you in which direction to walk in. Since the peak wouldn't be visible from your point of view, you wouldn't be able to tell whether or not you are getting close to it with your eyes alone. So without a navigational system, you would very likely go off the trail. I am also assuming that since you are going to land here with your spaceship, you also have the technology needed to satisfy your need for food and water. So then let's go and land on this point. You descend from space onto the surface. As you do that, you would be able to see rugged Olympus Mons in all its glory. Now you landed near the edge. As soon as you would take a step onto the Martian surface, you would notice just how very light you would feel. That is because the surface gravity on Mars is around two and a half times lower than the surface gravity of Earth, meaning you would feel two and a half times lighter, which is a good thing considering that you would be covering a 200 kilometer long path. Also, if you tried to jump, you would see that you would be able to jump significantly higher. 
If you had a weighing scale that you could step on, you would see that it would show your weight as 2.5 times less. Meaning, if that weighing scale showed that your weight was 70 kilograms on Earth, on Mars, that same scale would show that your weight is 28 kilograms. That is all because scales determine weight by the amount of force that is applied on them. And because gravity on Mars is lower, you would exert less force onto the scale, which would result in it showing your weight as lower. As you would take a few steps onto the dusty Martian surface, and looked into the distance, it wouldn't be apparent at all that you are near the tallest mountain in the solar system. Because the surface area of Olympus Mons is so large, you wouldn't be able to see the top of the mountain from your position. Surface of the mountain is so large that the top of the volcano would simply just go over the horizon. In fact, while climbing the mountain, it might even seem like the surface is kind of flat, with occasional ridges. That sense of progression that we have while climbing mountains on Earth wouldn't be present here because of the fact that the entire slope is around 5 degrees on average. From your point of view, the surface would appear to be almost flat, meaning during your entire walk you would barely be able to tell the difference between walking on Olympus Mons or anywhere else on the Martian surface. As you begin your journey, during your time walking, you would be able to spot ancient lava channels through which once in the past, lava was flowing. The channels you would be looking at are millions of years old. They range in age from 115 to 2 million years old, which is actually fairly recent, considering that Mars is 4.5 billion years old. You would likely be able to spot lots of craters as well. They would vary in size greatly, and would be an interesting spot to inspect. In the distance, bridges covered with orangish Martian dust would appear at times. You would have to climb over them in order to get to the top. During your two-day journey, you would inevitably encounter the sun slowly setting. As you go deeper into the night, more stars would appear in the sky, and they would appear to be more visible than on Earth because of the thin Martian atmosphere. The Milky Way trail would also look sharper as well. Eventually, while looking at the clear night sky, you would probably notice the planet Earth. Now you would see the Earth 12 minutes in the past from Mars. You wouldn't be able to see the Earth in real time, since 12 minutes is how long it takes light, on average, to reach Mars from Earth. It is almost like lag. From Mars, Earth would appear as a pale blue dot in the sky. That's all of us, right there. Now, inevitably, you would also encounter what the morning is like on the Martian surface. As you would look into the distance, you would see a blue haze in the atmosphere, as the sun would be slowly rising. Even though Mars has an orangish atmosphere, the sunrises are blue. It is exactly opposite to how on Earth the sky is blue, but during the sunrise there is an orange haze. After two days of walking over ridges, channels and craters, you would finally be able to reach the top of Olympus Mons. It would be obvious that you are at the top when you reach the caldera complex, which is six huge calderas. They are structures that look like craters, but were formed after lava was erupted through them. After lots of eruptions, the surface withdrew and formed crater-like marks on the top of the volcano. While at the top, as you would look into the distance, you would be able to see the entire edge of this huge caldera complex that is around 70 kilometers. You would be standing near the edge and overseeing this whole gigantic structure from a couple of kilometers above. Inside the caldera complex, you would see many semicircular formations and channel formations. What you would also notice while looking into the distance is that the atmosphere would not be that pronounced there would only be a slight orange haze present. That is because at this elevation, the atmosphere would be very thin. At the top of Olympus Mons, the pressure is eight times less than the average Martian surface pressure. Now, the surface pressure on Earth is around 1,400 times greater than at the top of Olympus Mons. That is how thin the atmosphere is here. Now, despite the fact that the atmosphere is so thin here, you would still likely be able to notice Martian clouds, as they frequently pass by the peak, 
you would also notice that you would be surrounded by Martian dust, just like everywhere else on Mars. Now, sadly, from the top of the tallest mountain in the solar system, if you turned away from the caldera complex, you wouldn't have that great of a view. You wouldn't be able to oversee the rest of the Martian surface at all. You would be just looking at the slope of Olympus Mons. That would really make you get just how enormous this volcano is. As we can see, climbing Olympus Mons would be an interesting adventure. It would really put things into perspective in many regards.